But this uh, guy doesn't Odysseys. care about this, John. Right. He doesn't care about no. it. You know, New York is now the, the likes of Will Smith, I Am Legend. It's a zombie apocalypse. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And looking like she was a fresh off the set of 8-Ball Apocalypse, Kimberly Guilfoyle came dressed in her own green screen jumpsuit, ready for action. She joined Newsmax's John Bachman on Monday and went on a wild rant attacking New York City and Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and compared New York to a zombie apocalypse, hyping up discontent towards the authorities. People are running around. They're afraid to go on the subways, afraid to walk to school or go to work, get on the buses because it's rampant with crime. It's filthy and disgusting. There's no quality of life. OK, and this guy just lets a revolving door. He reduces felonies to misdemeanors. He doesn't go after violent criminals. It's a complete disaster. He should be thrown out of office. Now that the hammer of justice is hitting close to home, her and her swollen Botox lips are getting worried. Worried that she'll lose her meal ticket and Don Jr. and her will star in the first episode of Shit's Creek. Whatever delusional scenario she comes up with is an attempt to save her own rotten hide. All of her hype and hairspray are not out of loyalty to Donald Trump. She's involved in the Trump crime syndicate, and she may lose everything. That couldn't happen to a more deserving jackaloon. He has completely failed to serve his, his oath and his office by making New York a safe place to live. He has not. He is endangering women children, families, is, communities, putting businesses out of work because he is not doing his job. Instead, he's hell-bent on persecuting Donald Trump. But there will be accountability in this case, and Alvin Bragg should be very worried about that. Guilfoyle, looking like Medusa, started spewing one of the most hateful and idiotic rants on the Newsmax daytime trash TV. Talking about New York, she said, it's filthy and disgusting. There's no quality of life. And this guy, Alvin Bragg, just lights a revolving door. He reduces felonies to misdemeanors. He doesn't go after violent criminals. It's a complete disaster. He should be thrown out of office doesn't deserve the pristine, esteemed office that he is holding because he has violated the trust of the American people and he has destroyed New York City. It was at this point that any hope for credibility went out the window. The episode was painful to listen to. Guilfoyle's voice is nauseating and her face is downright nasty. We all want to see their faces when the Orange Losers mugshot comes out. Guilfoyle and Donald wear about the same amount of makeup, so it will be easy to see all of the maggot tears running down their faces. It will be like Rudy Giuliani's hair dye in the summer sun. The nation is ready to heal, and for that to happen, Donald Trump must be held accountable. It doesn't matter what his mangy daughter-in-law has to say. She's just out for gold, but she's probably going to end up getting the shaft, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.